The first ever Sankalp Africa Summit hosted in Nairobi brought together participants from across the world. Expanding its global presence, IntelliCap, with support from partner organizations UK Aid and Shell Foundation, launched Sankalp Forum in Africa with the ambition of creating an ecosystem for social enterprises in the region and establishing a corridor for greater learning and partnerships between developing countries. Day one began with the spotlight on African social enterprises who vied for the prestigious Sankalp Africa Awards. You all are recognizing the best and the brightest that this continent has to offer and that says a lot. Over 100 applicants from across 12 countries and six high-impact sectors were screened by 11 investment funds. Competition was stiff and only 12 enterprises were selected as the most innovative, dynamic and sustainable social enterprises. To jury members behind closed doors, these finalists pitched their business models and addressed rigorous questions. Later, finalists took pitching to another level with music and dance moves to entertain and engross the audience. Finally, the wait was over and the eminent team of jury members announced the most deserving and impactful social enterprise as the grand prize winner. Two runner-ups, one special recognition and one People's Choice Award. On day two, conversations were driven by four key focus areas. Entrepreneurship, innovation, financing and collaboration all geared towards taking an ecosystem view of inclusive development in Africa. Is Africa rising or falling? So there's a large, pretty overwhelming cohort of people who believe that the last 10 years in Africa has really set the stage, not just for Africa to emerge from stagnant economic growth, but actually to leapfrog into really great strides and improvement in terms of health outcomes, educational outcomes, infrastructure development, as well as significant reductions in, in poverty. 18 local partners from the African region contributed to an effective mix of big picture discussions as well as more specific sector deep dives. SME financing was also discussed with a focus on angel investing and taking a more than money approach in VC investing. A special capacity building track for SMEs featured a mentoring clinic, workshops on business modeling and fundraising, and matchmaking with corporates and investors. African countries and India may have vastly different local cultures and contexts, but they face similar development challenges. To showcase this, Sankalp brought 12 innovations that are in various stages of expansion into, within or outside Africa. Special satellite events before and after the summit made Nairobi a go-to destination for inclusive development practitioners from around the world. The Sankalp Africa Summit propelled a wave to bring inclusive development in Africa to another level and it promises to come back next year with bigger and better ways of creating impact, facilitating knowledge exchange and building a local and global footprint.